What's going on guys? Today is April 26th on a Sunday and we are finally out and about on a beautiful day where it's not raining and cloudy and cold and we got a lot planned for today. So we're gonna see a little bit of family, get some more supplies and have a little bit of fun with Bubs right now. It is so hot out here that wearing this jacket is the dumbest thing I have ever done in my life. Maybe. <laughs> we are on our way to my mother's house to spend a little bit of time with family and it is absolutely gorgeous out. I don't know if you noticed, a little bit of glasses action <laughs> uh, because it's so bright outside, it's so beautiful outside that we needed them, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. I can already feel my skin getting tan, so I'm like, okay, let's bring it on. I'm ready. Let me put my lipstick. You get comfortable. <laughs> I agree, fix your lip, all that. Say hello. No. What you cooking? I'm not cooking anything. It's cooked already. Cook. Let's see. I got chorba de perichuare. What is that? Oh my god, something very mm -hmm. delish. With meatballs and a lot of veggies and beef. Oh, you like that? You like that? Yeah, the Yum, yum, yum. You put it with the lime. And then I got cabbage and smoked sausage. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Yum, yum, yum. You know what I'm saying? It's a little spicy though. Yeah. Spicy for you it's means like black that. pepper. No, it's actually right. southern you know seasoning. About, right? Oh. Cajun, really, really, Cajun Cajun really going all out here. Oh. Tasty? You ain't showing up in that belly. No. No. Uh -huh. it, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't understand. This man mm. talks non stop during the day, talks non stop during the night. What do you mean, talks non stop during the night? We talk about talk, talks, what, what and talks, anything. <laughs> I'm wrong, Whatever, I'm if you went to see a friend or remembers a conversation from 20 years ago, and he will make it like uh, sound like a, a piece of theater, right? Oh, I'm gonna go off. Oh, no, come here, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, you. <laughs> like, what the heck is going on? It makes it. I mean, and word by word, he remembers what the conversation was. Mm -hmm. Word by word. John, what have you learned since you've been on the dirty? Not a lot. A lot. A lot about life. A lot mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. you, you know, teacher. relationships. Mm -hmm. A lot about hardship. I, I couldn't even list everything. It still made you a better person? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Why? Good one, though. That's a good question to ask. That's true. That's you know, true. You be with somebody all the time, but you never ask them the questions, but really go up underneath. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I hear you. This, this, this. But you never get to know what they feel. Yeah. Because you never ask them what they feel. That's a good point. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I you know, and that's how life is, you know what I'm saying? You be around somebody and you don't even know them. I can't, I cannot listen anymore. You can't what? <laughs> listen to you anymore. Yeah, right. You're going to do it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I play a good role with it. I love you, baby. You know what else? Ah, you got that You know what I'm saying? But I feel you. This might taste right, right. I don't have my... Because I don't taste, I don't... Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh huh. Oh, but I didn't hear that Trump face. I missed. I know you missed it all. Sometimes it go right by me. Oh, it did. That's not good. It's all the time. But it be by me. Yep. So put me in. Yep, I do. 
I said, my taste buds were not home yesterday. I know. You are good. It's horrible. You didn't have them at all. I didn't have them at all. I'm a food tester. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's fine. He, he, his How do you think I get this belly? He's deep, <laughs> deep asleep and here I am with the, with the spoon. Tell me what we think. Tell me. And he's like, my mom. Mom is very good. <laughs> but she died of that. That's all she do, she died of that for me. No, because she I did not taste cut. it. But you ain't gotta do that because you take, you do good. You just fix it up, you ain't gotta worry about it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it no matter what. Cause I have to... <laughs> I'm gonna eat it no matter what. <laughs> so I should be. So we just left my mom's house and it was great to see them. We had such a fun time. So much fun. Uh, we ate a lot. Too much. <laughs> we, we had a little bit of uh, some crazy conversations with Daryl. Mm -hmm, as always. Uh, I should mention, I don't, know how, I don't know how to explain my family sometimes. It's a little <laughs> bit difficult. Uh, my parents are divorced. They got divorced when I was 11. And Daryl is my mother's new husband of like over a decade. I couldn't tell you exactly how long. So he's been in our lives for a long time and he is a character that is <laughs> unbelievably deep and I'm sure you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. So we just left and now we just arrived at my cousin's place. We're gonna walk in, talk to him, hang out for a little bit and uh, see what he's been up to. What's going on, cousin? How's it going, cousin? Good. Good. <laughs> so good to see you, so cousin. Good. Oh, you're you're so good. good. <laughs> This is my cousin Andrew. Nice to meet you all. Uh, this is uh, the first time we've actually been in each other's presence in how long? Uh, I'd say probably about a month and a half, maybe two months. Maybe that long, maybe time. longer. But uh, he's doing some 3D printing. If you guys want to check out his unboxing video that I made, uh, there's actually a link in the description and you can actually see what he's doing. So you want to show us what's going on? Yeah, let's go for the tour here, you follow. So I got two 3D printers run right now, uh, right behind us is one of them going. I just started a new print. I've just finished two ABS masks on this one printer using white filament. And uh, follow me, let's go into my office here where I've got the newest Flash Forge Creator <laughs> Max printer going. Um, I'm right about to start up, so right now there's nothing going. I just finished up a print, so come, come with me, come on, come on. Let's, let's go take a look. Uh, the Flash Forge Creator Max printer. Up and running. Looks so, really just nice. finished these two masks using the red PLA that Flash Forge supplied with the printer. Yeah, check, then put it back together. And then put it on your face. Let's see how it looks on your face. That's cool. It's, it's so well built and designed and it just snaps together and then you put like filter like a filter right in there like a little HEPA material right yeah, yeah exactly and then you just wrap your your wrap around your face with like these, these little elastic locations where you can put it around your face yeah, you can use whatever you want I mean elastic strands is obviously gonna be the best bet show, show me the uh, decanter oh this is uh, engraved because I was the best man for uh, best friend's wedding Jonathan. what does it say on there Angel Caracas, uh, Reserve of 2018, I believe, 2017. That's awesome. Cheers. 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 Cheers to you guys. So Andrew, explain to me like I'm five. Like, I don't know anything about 3D printing. Like, what is actually happening here? Well, 3D printing in its simplest form is you're just printing plastic out one layer at a time just like a regular printer would do, but now you're creating a 3D object to do. So instead of it just doing one print like a regular printer, uh, what this software is doing, what this machine is doing, is you're, you've created a 3D object, a can. The program, what it does is it slices this can into multiple, multiple layers down to 0.3 millimeters height and it's creating slices. Think about like you're slicing bread or slicing uh -huh. something in really thin layers. And what that printer is doing is just, it's layering one layer like a traditional printer does, but then the machine moves up a bit and then it prints another layer and then it moves up a bit and then it prints another layer and it moves up a bit and it prints another layer until the, until the object is completed. That's in its simplest form. But what it's doing in reality is it's taking a roll of raw plastic 
feeding it through a hot end, think about like a hot glue gun, mm -hmm. where you can pull the trigger and hot glue will be extruded and it'll be nice and molten, but you start with a solid glue stick. Mm -hmm. It's the same purpose, just at a very, very fine detail. And a computer is controlling the actions and it's moving in three different planes to create a 3D object. Uh, so it's a very cool concept of what it's doing. It's nothing new that's been around, but through advancements of technology, it's created something what was once uh, unthinkable into now what is your desktop printer. Just yeah. printing out your resume to hand out to an employer. Now you can print out a 3D object to hand to someone just mm -hmm. as you were a printer. So it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty cool concept of what they're doing. Mad scientist type stuff right here. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you that uh, you're taking appreciation. Mm -hmm. I wish you guys could see this up close because this is as close as I can get, but I can truly see this machine like just drawing the lines of what's going to be on the plastic. It's just so weird and like so crazy to think. It's like a very futuristic um, machine toy, like those claw machines. It's like that. This is so cool. I feel like a nerd right now. I think this is really cool. So this one I see, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like those canyon arches because you can see like how straight the lines are and like this beautiful wave that's created here. Like you can see the craftsmanship. Which one do you guys like better? Do you guys like the white one better? I personally like the red one better. <laughs> And we are finally home. Uh, I can't be happier. It was a, a long day, an exciting day. We got to see my mother, we got to see Daryl, we got to see Andrew, and I, I can't uh, tell you how good it felt to see them. After going so many weeks of not seeing family, a weird aspect of this entire trip was a sense of separation anxiety. Not only do we, you know, were we able to see Bubs at home by himself through, you know, at home security systems where he was crying and really missing us and doing some separation anxiety, things of his own. We felt it too, guys. Mm -hmm. We were gone for eight hours, but I can't tell you how desperate we were to get back home and to be back in our safe space and to be back comfortable with Bubs and with us. And it's one of the things we have to consider when we go back to the real world. We get out of this quarantine and how much of ourselves are gonna be pretty changed because of this quarantine? I just know that what we used to know as normal isn't gonna happen for a long time, maybe not ever. Um, I worked the Art Institute and not too long ago I had a call with my manager and he said that one of the Zoom topics we were going to be discussing was um, new social distancing procedures even though like we don't know what they're gonna be but I imagine we're gonna be required to now wear masks and gloves and like are we gonna regulate how we space people in the line so I'm sure that's gonna be everywhere restaurants any public spaces I don't know how festivals are gonna happen like are we gonna be designated spots to stand like who knows but I can't tell you how important it is to see family guys we had our own family that didn't want to come with us. And that's something to think about. Because while this coronavirus, again, is a real threat, I hope you guys don't take that lightly, uh, coming from me. But at the same time, another real threat is the significant mental damage that's happening to us as a result of this quarantine, as a result of not seeing our family, as a result of everything that's currently happening. So if you want to see your family, you're healthy, they're healthy, they're in good spirits, you're in good spirits, it's something worth considering. And I don't think that it's, it's some sort of evil. I think it's important. Wear masks even, if you guys really feel that uncomfortable. Wear masks, wear gloves, or you know, maybe don't hug, but at least be in the same house, under the same roof, something is something. Go hang out at a park. Fine, yeah. be out in the open. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate all of your comments, all of your insights. I know a lot of things that I say and do are very controversial on every single video. We live in controversial political times, so I can appreciate that. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, 
please subscribe to my channel. It lets me know I'm doing something right. Uh, and leave a comment, especially if you think I'm an asshole, because <laughs> she'll like those comments. I probably agree. <laughs> See you guys next time.